So here we are recording. Alright, so my name is Josh Hudson, and um, this is my first vlog. Um, I'll leave a link in the sidebar to my uh, personal blog, Josh23. Uh, I'm a Blue Jays fan. I like to report on Blue Jays, and you know, I'm all in kits. I'm six years old, so try not to be too harsh. Um, anyways, so the recent success of the Blue Jays has got me thinking about Vernon Wells, and you know, how to hit four or five home runs this year. And, uh, and the big thing, they won, they won the Orioles today, uh, up to 5 and 1 now, took control of the American League East, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, but, you know, this year we're facing a lot of hard, you know, demeaning regular season, backed up against, uh, you know, everyone was against the Blue Jays, you know, potatoes, critics, analysts, fans, this, you know, no, I gotta even say, I gotta say that I really wasn't, I was kind of worried about the Blue Jays season, you know, the pitching rotation was made from a bunch of metal. Brandon to Vernon Wells, you know, how crowded he is for the game later in the game, especially after contract was in 2007, you know, he just won't work. Every time I see him walk out there, he's just come here and just another strike zone. You know, especially with Rios and Roland and Scooter all gone, you know, I, you know, I was worried. I figured they needed someone to step up. Um, so, I was really glad to see in the first few, uh, in the first few series, Vernon Wells stepping up and, you know, not home runs, you know, nine RBIs. Uh, it made me very happy, especially after 2006, when, uh, you know, he hit 303, 32 home runs. Um, you know, he had a new contract, which was, I believe, 126, a whopping 126 million dollars extension until 2014. Um, and you know, he can make you know half a million dollars a year, depending on, uh, you know, his uh, bonuses and incentives. For example, he was able to attain league and World Series MVP in the same year. He made like 450 thousand dollars, which is a lot of money think about it, you know, I mean, you can give it to him, right, because Toronto hasn't been the playoffs since 93, um, but in the 2007, 2008, you know, Vernon, he only went yard, like, 36 times, I think, 16 times in 07, and 20 times in 08, um, but he, although he did have a lot of injuries, um, I, you know, he had injuries, you know, they weren't, I mean, they were proved to be for real, but no one, a lot of critics and analysts said that, you know, oh, he, you know, the injuries aren't really bugging him, and that he could be doing a lot better, you know. And he feels the pressure is an excuse to have him live up to a high contract. Yeah, okay. You know, the, you know, like the before, and, you know, you, I don't know, I just see them as, people say it's pressure, but really I look at it as a, it's kind of slack off after they get their contract. I mean, he's healthy in 2006, he hits great, great stats, and then, oh, 2007, six million. Oh, it's this year, oh, it's, you know, and he's friggin', I mean, he's, sorry, part of my language, like, it's not that bad, but. He's um, and he's hurt and he's batting poorly and but the year before, a few years before, you know we gave him a huge contract. Oh, everything's fine. A three with thirty six home runs. I that happens a lot of times, you know, in hockey. Man, it's sad, and you know, which uh, being a Penguins fan, uh, trying to get off talking here for a second, but Marion Hosa, I loved how he was one of the few players, you know, a little bit less money, he was one of the, you know half a million dollars to go play with Detroit so he could win a cup. That kind of backfired, but anyways. Back to the main subject of the um, video was, anyways, I was just, like I was saying, Vernon Wells, uh, coincidentally enough, was hurt, and you can't deny that he was hurt. I just what you can't deny is, I mean, you can he was hurt, he was hurt, but another thing that also is fact is that from here to here, you know, just dropped off, especially last year. He was playing really bad. I think bad at two sixty, six six guys in a whole season, sixty six RBIs in a whole. That pitcher, he over eight and a half million dollars. That's all he gets. That's all he hits. Like, I mean, that might be all all he hits, but it's definitely not enough in my opinion. I mean, when you're paying a guy eight and a half million, that might be able to know three home runs. And potentially, I would like to see him rack up on it. And then like, oh, he's a good extension. That's like why you can get so many this year. Kind of like saying, I was really worried to do what the Blue Jays over five hundred people. They haven't played on them, and uh, I following them because I didn't start following the Blue Jays until I uh, moved to Canada. So, uh, but, yeah, I guess, you know, so I was really worried, but luckily, uh, Vernon Wells, in their six games, this is their home run, the, you know, the key player, especially in two, they're, uh, in some back to, in some games that they was in late inning, on top nine, come back and one, and I was just really glad that Vernon was able to contribute to the home run game, game against the Rangers in ninth inning that helped to come back, and so it's all good. I'm looking forward to the, the, uh, home opener I'm making against the I don't know if he's going to be, I think, win that, you know, I mean, maybe I'm just getting a little bit too excited, I mean, 
it's only the first uh, two series of the year. They're only five and one. Well, not only, but um, and that's a pretty good accomplishment. But um, I haven't played Boston or New York or, and those are the teams that are in our league in our division, which is kind of hard to you know to make the playoffs. You got to beat teams that are in your division, and when you're playing two teams that have a combined payroll like five times so what we have, you know, we're like eighty million. New York's like two hundred twenty million. I mean, like our starting page was how they fleet um, salary was that uh, you know like this year combined them this year, and when you've got uh, like Burnett and they have Burnett and Sabathia and you know like Texera, Texera and Jeter and you know Damon and Rodriguez. Like if you just take Sabathia, Burnett, Texera, that's Texera. That's like three three guys and like sixty million dollars. I mean that's almost all of our payroll for all you know how many guys we have bullpen, uh, starting rotation, you know starters, batters, DH, you know everything. So, but anyways, as a Toronto fan. I'm really glad to see the early success of the Blue Jays, and I hope that Vernon Wells can, uh, you know, continue his success and stand up and be a leader, the veteran leader of this young, extremely talented and potential ball club um, needs, you know. So I hope, look forward to that, and I look forward to the uh, White Sox opener on the opener against the White Sox at home on Monday. So, yeah.